Hi there, I'm meteorologist Chicago Wendler. We have some big changes coming. I hope you haven't gotten too used to these highs in the 70s. Reasons being by this weekend, we're not going to get out of the 50s the way things are looking and some spots may even see the first freeze of the season. Here's more in tonight's Chicks Chat. Let's start off with the good news, which is we've got one more beautiful day on the way. Friday, high of 75 degrees, mostly sunny skies. Then comes the weekend of change. A cold front comes in Saturday morning with a few showers and some gusty north winds, 15 to 25 miles per hour. That's going to pave the way for highs in the 50s and lows in the 30s. All right, let's talk about this first freeze potential. Average first freeze should have already happened basically from this line points west through the hill country. Notice Austin all by itself at November 29th and areas east of I-35 generally November 21st through 27th would be the average first freeze. Now behind that cold front here's where I think it could freeze on Sunday morning. Anywhere in the purple up in this area in the hill country morning lows Sunday between 28 and 33 degrees where a first freeze is certainly possible. Now off toward the south and east in blue those morning lows 33 to 39 might see some patchy frost. I do not expect a freeze for most of those locations but then it gets even chillier still as we work our way toward Monday morning. So just get ready. Then another thing we got to keep an eye on is moisture increasing next week. It doesn't look like heavy rain, but I've now got a one in three shot of showers Tuesday and Wednesday and up to a one in well, a 40% chance come Thursday for Thanksgiving. So here's a closer look at that holiday forecast for you. 72 degrees after a morning low of 60, so it will be mild. 40% chance of showers. Doesn't look like storms or anything particularly heavy. Just like looks like off and on showers. So turkey trot, UT game, anywhere out and about, it does look like it could be on the soggy side. That's it for now. Have a good night.